Okay, good evening. Um, can everyone see the first slide? Okay, great. Uh, good evening. My name is Jamie Lawson, principal planner with the city of Burlington and project manager for um, this project. Today is April 14th. Uh, it's just after 6 p.m. and I'd like to welcome you to the architectural survey update um, open house. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, this meeting is being held via the Zoom platform. Um, also note this meeting is being recorded. So if you're having any technical difficulties or connection problems, please contact me at 336-380-7064 or Conrad Almedo at 336-214-4515 for support. Um, I'd also like to recognize um, present um, at, at this meeting are uh, the following members of city council. We have uh, Mayor Ian Baltudis, um, as well as Mayor Pro Tem um, Kathy Hikes. Uh, the following Historic Preservation Commission members are present. Um, Molly Whitlatch, the Vice Chair Brian Pennington and Christina Meinking. And I apologize if I'm not seeing anybody else who's um, joined, um, who's joining. We also have Faith Grant, um, pres uh, President of Preservation Burlington. Um, also joining us on the um, meeting are our consultant, Heather Slane of HMW Preservation um, and Elizabeth King. She is the architectural survey coordinator with the state of North Carolina's Historic Preservation Office. Um, I am also joined on the call with Conrad Almedo. Um, he is the planning manager here for the city of Burlington. Um, I'm going to be turning the presentation over to Heather and uh, Elizabeth shortly, but I'd like to just give some um, quick housekeeping announcements for tonight's public um, comments. Um, to address staff, please indicate that you would like to do so at that time by raising the raise hand feature in Zoom, or if you're calling by phone, you can press star nine. Um, and at that time, the meeting host will notify me that you wish to speak. Um, and anyone who speaks, please identify your name um, and address for the record. So uh, why don't we go ahead and get started. Um, and as uh, an introduction to this open house, the City of Burlington and the City's Historic Preservation Commission, in partnership with HMW Preservation, um, they are a, North, a Durham, North Carolina-based cultural resource consulting firm, as well as the North Carolina State Historic Preservation Office um, has initiated an architectural survey update. Um, and there'll be more information on what that is. This um, update was funded by a 2020 Federal Historic Preservation Fund grant um, for certified local governments from the Natural Park Service. And it's administrated through the North Carolina State um, Historic Preservation Office um, and of the Offices of Ar Archives and History. Um, the grant award was $24,000 and the city of Burlington contributed 6,000 for a project total budget of 30,000. This was the largest amount, um, grant amount that was given to any certified local government um, last year. The city retained HMW Preservation to complete the project. Um, Heather Slane, principal of the firm, is the project manager. And um, the purpose of today's open house, tonight's open house, will be to learn about the architectural survey, hear the presentation by Heather, um, and receive public input. So um, additional information can be found um, to follow this process. Um, the website is shown on the slide, which is www.burlingtonnc.gov forward slash historic Burlington. Uh, at this point, I will turn it over to Heather to um, run through the presentation. Thanks, Jamie. Um, so I set up the presentation sort of um, based on the questions that I thought you all might have, 
might have. So um, we'll run through it. And then if you have additional questions that I didn't answer, we can do those sort of at the end. And Beth, um, we'll talk a little bit at the end from about the state's role in the project. Next slide. So the first question is, where is the survey area? Um, the survey is titled the West Burlington Survey, but specifically for this project, the area being studied is bounded by South Church Street, West Webb Avenue, and the west side of Tarleton Avenue. So it includes the West Davis Street Fountain Place National Register Historic District and the West Davis West Front Fountain Place Local Historic District, which overlap each other, as well as approximately 300 additional properties that are outside of those districts. So what is an architectural survey or why are we here anyway? Um, surveys are a way to document architectural styles and development patterns in order to discern broader patterns within communities, regions, and the state. North Carolina has a robust survey program administered by the State Preservation Office that dates to the 1970s. However, surveyors tend to focus on properties that are at least 50 years of age, making it necessary to update survey data periodically as buildings continue to age and change. This project is focused on updating survey data that was collected during two previous surveys, one in 1982 and the second in 1991. It will include updated documentation for the 339 properties that were surveyed in those years, as well as 29 properties within the National Historic District that did not have full survey files completed, mostly because they were not 50 years old when those districts were created. Um, it may include documentation of additional architecturally significant buildings and neighborhoods within that study area. And this map is showing you all of those little points are points that have survey files. So uh, all of the points within the survey area will be updated. Next one. So what type of data is collected? Surveyors will take digital photos of all the buildings, including garages and sheds, everything that's visible from the public right of way. No activity will take place on private property without permission from the owner. Additionally, a field data form will be created for each property, which includes locational information for the buildings, as well as notes on materials and design elements, including door and window styles, and other things that may not be easily understood through photographs of the buildings. Information related to the history of each building may be obtained from maps, directories, and other publicly available sources. Next slide. So what can I expect from the field survey? The majority of the field work will take place in May and June. However, because of the scale of the project, schedules that are complicated by the pandemic and the dependency on weather, it's not possible to make property owners aware of exactly what day we'll be surveying any given property or to schedule individual site visits. Um, residents may see a team of two surveyors with cameras, clipboards, and tablets recording resources from the public rights of way. If you have information about your property that's not publicly available and you'd like to share it, you may reach out via phone or email, or you may speak with the surveyors while we are um, in the neighborhood, but please follow the COVID distancing and masking protocols. So who can view and use the data once it's collected? The information from the previous surveys, the 1982 and 91 surveys, and the products of this survey are all housed in the North Carolina Division of Archives and History. While the state's in the process of digitizing the older survey files, the information is currently only available to researchers and citizens who visit the file room at the State Preservation Office. Additionally, information from the current survey will be transferred into a searchable database maintained by the State Preservation Office that allows researchers to search by building style, architect, family names, etc. However, that database is currently only an internal database and not accessible remotely. So again, you have to go to the State Preservation Office um, and have them assist you with a search. A copy of the survey photographs from this project will be shared with the city of Burlington for their files. So what does the survey mean for my property? Well, the survey is focused on updating the documentation that includes the West Davis Fountain Place National District and the West Davis West Front Fountain Place Local District. This survey has no direct impact on the local district, its designation or its boundaries. 
The survey report will include a summary of changes that have occurred to the previously surveyed properties with statistics on the number of buildings demolished or significantly altered. It will also include historic context for the city of Burlington from about 1940 to 1975 and a summary of architectural styles from that period. Finally, recommendations for new or expanded national historic districts are typical as, this, as part of this type of survey, but no new national register districts will be created as part of the survey, and there will be no recommendations or actions taken regarding the local district. So this seems a good time to um, sort of highlight the differences between the national and local districts. Um, and the State Historic Preservation Office has additional information comparing the two types of districts, and there's a link to that information from the City of Burlington's project webpage for this project, so you can read more in depth about the difference between the two types of districts. But the main differences are that the National Register is a tool for documentation that is housed within the National Park Service. It's a largely honorary program um, set to document buildings from across the country. It does afford some protection from federal undertakings. So only projects that are using federal funding or permitting have any protection under this program, but it does make available state and federal rehabilitation tax credits for owners that choose to use them. Your local historic districts are managed by the city of Burlington and they are generally um, designated as a tool to manage change and development within the historic areas. Um, those are a zoning overlay that requires a COA for proposed changes. So while both you have both a local and a national district in the study area, it's important to keep the two of those programs separate. Next slide. And this is a map showing the boundaries of the two different districts. So the blue boundary is the national historic district and the purple boundary is your local historic district. And there is some overlap, um, which also adds to the confusion. However, variation in those boundaries is typical and is a product of the different goals and requirements of the two programs. So because your local district is a zoning tool, it often has different um, boundaries than the documentary program for the National Register. The green boundaries that you're seeing were um, initially proposed in 1992 as increases to the National Historic District. Um, those areas will be reevaluated as part of the survey to determine whether they're still potentially eligible for the National Register listing. However, again, no changes will be made to the National Register District or the local district boundaries as part of this project, only recommendations. So how do you follow the project? the progress of the project. The city has set up a dedicated web page for the project with information and useful links. Um, as I mentioned, the majority of field work will take place in May and June. So that's when you'll see people out walking around in the neighborhood. Um, and most of the writing and the report preparation will take place in July and August. If you have information that you'd like to share regarding your building, it's best to contact me directly. And my, there's a link to my website from the city's page and there's an email and a phone number on that website. Next one. So as Jamie mentioned, the survey project is jointly funded by the city of Burlington and a historic preservation fund grant. And that grant is administered by the state preservation office. Beth King is the architectural survey coordinator and she's managing the project at the state level, recording or reviewing the survey files and findings and any survey report and recommendations that come out of the project. So she is with us tonight and I'm gonna let her have a chance, but I do wanna do a quick thank you to Preservation Burlington. The photos that were in the presentation are their photos because we haven't done any of our field work yet. So um, they were gracious enough to share photos with us. And I will let you take over, Beth. All right, thank you so much, Heather. Um, I don't have a lot to add to what Heather has already said because she did a very thorough job of explaining the project. I just wanted to introduce myself to everyone on the call. Um, as uh, you can see on the screen, my name is Beth King. I'm the Architectural Survey Coordinator in the State Historic Preservation Office. Um, our office receives each year from the National Park Service a portion of our budget uh, that they require we pass along to certified local governments in North Carolina. 
and uh, Burlington is one of our certified local governments. So um, each year we make available a grant application that the CLGs um, can submit to us for consideration. And this year we received from Burlington uh, an application to update the survey documentation of this portion of town. So um, we are passing through from our office part of our budget from the National Park Service that is uh, intended to be earmarked for communities around the state. So I wanted to explain um, just a little bit about where the funding for this project came from. And of course, the city is providing a partial match for the project as well. Um, our office has a, a fairly large set of responsibilities um, that we've received from the federal government. We are the, the state level uh, keeper of the architectural survey, not only in Burlington and Alamance County, but all of our counties. Um, we also administer the National Register of Historic Places at the state level, and we work with federal agencies who are um, investing money or, or other types of resources in infrastructure projects. We work with them to make sure that North Carolina's historic resources are preserved while those um, infrastructure projects and other improvements are happening. Um, and we have, um, we are somewhat unique among uh, many of our sister departments in other states that we have a, a large staff of folks who provide technical support, preservation support to constituents. So um, we have a, a restoration branch that um, assists property owners with maintaining older buildings and you know, answers really technical and specialized questions about how to deal with particular um, historic material treatments that, that you know, not everyone has the, um, the expertise to deal with and to maintain. Um, so, you know, with that, I, I think I will um, either turn it back over to Heather or Jamie to keep the meeting moving along. Sorry, I was on mute. Thanks for that information and, um, and your contact information there. Um, I really don't have much more to add um, in terms of the presentation, um, except for including our contact information. So if folks have questions on um, the the project um, or just general questions about the local historic district or projects within the local historic district, um, you can reach me. My contact information is on the slide. Um, my email address is jlawson at burlingtonnc.gov. Um, I did put in the meeting chat the website address um, for to follow the progress specifically for this project. Um, which is um, www.burlingtonnc.gov forward slash historic um, Burlington. And um, this is the uh, uh, postcard that went out to all property owners and properties um, within the survey boundary um, with additional information too. So um, I think at this point, we can open it up to um, questions from members of the public. Um, I did also want to recognize um, Lori Bryan. She's the chair of the um, Historic Preservation Commission. And I also did see on the call um, Mike Nunn. He's our director of planning and transportation. Um, so I wanted to recognize both those two um, who have joined. So why don't we um, see if anybody has any questions. If you've got questions, you can use the raise hand function um, through Zoom or dial star nine. Um, and I did see in the chat a question for you, Heather, before we get to the members of the public. Um, Heather, can you elaborate on what 
types of information about personal homes you might be interested in, um, old photos, old deeds, information about historic events? Sure. So um, the surveys from 1982 and 91 have a variety of information in them. Um, but because of the scope of this survey, where we're looking at, you know, 400 plus properties, we really can't do um, chain of title research or anything like that on this many properties. So the research that we're sort of limited to is what they already had in those existing files from whoever they talked to in the 80s and 90s, as well as the um, sort of broad publicly available things like city directories and Sanborn maps that are really easy to access and easy to use um, for sort of looking at a whole streetscape work of buildings. So historic photos are great. Um, deeds, if you already have them collected, um, can help us tell the story of ownership. Um, really anything that you know, one of the things that's hardest for us to discern on the ground sometimes is when change has happened. So if you happen to have information about when um, different wings or additions to your house were constructed, um, we have some fairly grainy photos from the 80s and 90s that we can compare with. Um, but information about when changes happen to the building and really any information about the owners and the occupants of the building that you're willing to share would be great. Okay, thanks. Um, Faith, I saw that you had your hand raised. Uh, it looks like in the chat. Yeah. Are you good with your question or do you want to elaborate more? No, I'm good. I just wanted to make sure that um, Heather had the chance to elaborate on what, what all she wanted from homeowners. Okay. Um, Rita, you also had your hand raised, I believe. Did you have a question for us? Okay, I'm not hearing Rita. Um, she had a question in the chat. Will the survey prompt a revision to the design handbook? And that so, is that is beyond the scope of this project. That's right. Okay, after Rita is um, Helen. Helen, you are on mute. So you just need to unmute yourself. Can you hear me now? Yes. Great. Um, I was very, very involved with historic preservation starting in the 80s and the 90s. And I did the 91 survey. And I put together the architectural book for the 1982 survey. So I did a lot of updating then. And then we actually did another update. And uh, those files ought to be in the planning department. And the, um, there are grainy pictures there because we were Xeroxing them. But um, the original should be in the State Historic Preservation Office. And I think I probably have a lot of the maps here in my house. Um, uh, my project culminated in a um, uh, um, preservation plan. It was one of the first ones in the state for that to happen. And I do have a copy of that. So if I could be of assistance, I just have been sitting here thinking all the ways I might be able to help you. Um, so do you want my contact? How how are you interested in, my, in any information I might have? Yes, I am. And I recognize your name now because I have been transcribing some of those old files. So um, I think, yeah, if you want to email me or call me or if you want me to call you, but I think we should definitely make sure that um, I think most of the information may be at the State Preservation Office and they scanned those original files for me, which is my minor grainy a little bit. Um, but it sounds like you may have things that they don't have as well. So I would love to, to chat with you. Okay. So you want me just to email you with my contact information? Yeah, that sounds great. And, and a time that is good to talk and we can hopefully beat up that way. Okay, because I think that I surveyed more than you were showing there on the map. You may have, yeah. And so uh, 
more data ought to ought to be available than I think. I don't know. I'll have to go check my records. Yeah. I've got I've got boxes of stuff here at home. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's definitely get together, you and I, at okay. least at least virtually. Okay. That's Thank you. I'm going to say. Okay, uh, next, John, uh, John Vernon, I see you've got a couple um, comments in the chat. Anything that you want to ask questions or add? You are on mute. Sorry, I was chewing. Um, no, no, I think it just, I will include all the information that's here on the website. And if anyone needs to submit additional information, that will I will provide the emails and how to do that on the website tomorrow. Perfect. Okay. So if anybody wants to submit information, they will be able to do that directly through the website. That's burlingtonnc.gov forward slash historic um, Burlington. Um, Rita, I see your comment about your mic not working. There also is a call-in number if you're interested in calling um, and I can, um, we can include that phone number in the chat uh, with the webinar ID for you as well. Um, let's see, Beth, Beth Kennett um, also had items in the chat. You are currently on mute. If you'd like to unmute yourself, you're welcome to speak. Somebody answered the question, so thank you. No problem. Sherry, Sherry also included comment in the chat. She's working with Heather on the project and she's included um, Heather's email and her email uh, for direct contact with, with those ladies. Helen, do you have another question or additional comments? You are on, on mute. I'm not sure that I have Heather's contact information. I was sitting here looking for it. Okay, Heather's email address, if you're ready to take it, it's um, heather at hmwpreservation.com. HMW preservation all together? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dot com. Okay. Hey, I'm not seeing any other hands raised at this time. Anyone else have questions for our consultant or representative from the State Historic Preservation Office or Burlington staff? I'm not seeing anyone. Um, well, I guess at this point, I, I would like to thank um, everyone from joining the, the open house um, and participating and continuing to participate as this project goes on. Uh, again, the slide is up. If you've got questions or additional information, feel free to um, reach out to us directly. And um, we'll be um, looking forward to another presentation. Heather, when? When do you anticipate that roughly? Um, it usually happens sort of at the end of the project and before the project is presented to the state committee in October. So probably August or September. Okay. And so, we'll, we'll know when it gets closer. So there'll be more press releases and, um, and, and uh, outreach regarding that next meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks so much. I uh, hope everybody has a good rest of their evening. Thank you all. We look forward to seeing you out on the sidewalks. Beth, if you could stay on for just a second. Thanks. <laughs>